In this video we're using Substance 3D Designer to make carpet strands. Let's go over the keynotes and parameters we'll use first. The cross-section node draws a cross-sectional profile of an input image. It can be used to visualize 2D shapes, silhouettes, curve profiles, profile lines and more. Use drawing style to switch between different styles, from filled shapes over gradients to solid lines. Segment amount lets you define the smoothness of the line by controlling the segments. Controls the thickness of the line. Line style lets you choose coloring and fall off of the line. The tile sampler node is a powerful node to make regular or random patterns. It's an advanced version of the tile generator node with more control and inputs. Use symmetry random to bring in some randomness. In combination with symmetry random mode, it has really specific control over the symmetry. The rotation vector map multiplier is great to control the flow of the structure. It needs a normal or vector map as input. Color random adjusts how much the color differs for each individual shape. Let's build this basic setup together and learn how we make base carpet strands. For this quick tip example we start with a purlin noise node and adjust the scale to 4 for bigger shapes. Let's connect it to a cross section node. To get the straighter shape we decrease the height scale to 0.5 and use a height offset value of 0.25 to reposition it in the center. For a line result we switch the drawing style to line. Change the line style to gradient along line to get the height gradient and use a segment amount of 8 to get spikier lines. We further increase the line thickness to 0.15 for thicker lines. Now we connect it to a transformation 2D node. Switch to no tiling, scale it slightly smaller and use a blur HQ with an intensity of 15 for a smooth strand. Then let's continue with a tile sampler node to get our pattern. Hold shift and left mouse button to move it into the pattern input. Let's switch the pattern to pattern input. We push the x and y amount to 250 for a lot more strands. Now we increase the scale to 15 and adjust the scale random to 0.4. Introducing rotation random value of 0.1 helps to randomize it slightly more. Let's further tweak the height variation by adjusting color random to 1. Here's our final base result of the setup we did before. You can save this setup and use it in another project or make a custom node out of it. Let's explore a bit more advanced setup and check out some important parameters. To get smoother strands I play with the segments parameter of the cross section node. The height scale and height offset help me to define how straight or structured the strands should be. If I want to control the flow of the carpet structure with the rotation vector map multiplier of the tile sampler node, I need either a normal or a flow map as input. To get it, I connect the Perlin noise to a normal node and increase the intensity to see better what's happening. To control the alignment, I use a transformation 2D node and rotate it 90 degrees for different results. For more variation, I use the symmetry random value of the tile sampler. If I use the vector controls, I decrease the rotation random parameter to randomize it less intense and for a less chaotic flow I further switch the symmetry random mode to vertical. For a base color pass, I use a normal in combination with a curvature smooth node. I blend it with a uniform color node and play with the opacity and blending mode to control the color. Adding AO information helps for more depth. For vertical strands I use a tile generator node with the bell pattern. I further tweaked several random parameters for more variation and used the slope blur node in combination with the clouds tree to add some details and deformation to the strands. If you want to learn more you can download and open the graphs shown in the video. Thanks for watching and we would love to hear your thoughts, ideas and suggestions for future quick tips. So let us know them in the comments. See you in the next quick tip episode.